The 4th of July and fireworks go together like red, white, and blue. But what many of us don't realize is that Independence Day can be terribly troubling for our veterans. The Now KC's Mackenzie Nelson tells us how the holiday can actually trigger PTSD. For many Americans, the 4th of July is a cause for celebration, but for veterans suffering from PTSD, it's more than just the cracks and booms, making it feel like more of a nightmare. Crowds that seem oppressive, right, or driving, which can go back to some other military experiences or the loud noises. Walter Disney was a Navy SEAL for 13 years. Now he's made it his mission to help others fighting a battle similar to his. I'm not afraid to go into dark places and rescue souls. And because that's really what you have to work with. Working now as a therapist, Disney says it's the sights and sounds of the holiday that can make veterans feel like they're reliving their past. Being in that fight or flight mode for so long, when you come back from war, you still have kind of that response, even though the triggers are vastly different. Even things that seem so simple, like driving to your destination, can be a trigger. When he was in Afghanistan, taking a wrong turn could mean an IAD and that death, not only for himself, but for his company. If the holiday proves to be too much, some veterans will retreat into a quiet room, but that's not always the best option. Oftentimes in military, they use the term battle buddy but have somebody that can be there that says, it's okay, I'm right here, I'm not going to leave you, it's okay, you're safe. A local group called Warriors Ascent is working to provide that battle buddy support, creating a community you can turn to. It really kind of helps you right the ship instead of just throwing out all the tools and skills and saying, oh, well, this didn't work for me. You can go to someone and, and they kind of remind you, yeah, it's a tough day, but this will pass. Disney says the best way we can help our vets this holiday. Being kind, patient citizens are really one, is one of the best ways to prevent this or help somebody. In Overland Park, I'm Mackenzie Nelson, the Now KC. By the way, Warriors Ascent is a five-day program providing tools, training, and support for healing. You can learn more about the program on our website, kshb.com.